Hello again fellow DIYers and welcome to All That Craft. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make these decorative orbs with twine in just a few quick and easy steps. These twine orbs can be used as Christmas tree ornaments or they can be strung together to make these awesome decorative hanging lights. So let's get started. Blow up as many balloons as you need. This will depend on how many ornaments you wish to make. Next, wrap all your balloons in twine like this. Make sure not to leave too many gaps. The more coverage the balloon has, the sturdier your ornament will be and the nicer it will look. Here I have all my balloons wrapped in twine and ready for the next step. In this step, we will cover the twine with a mixture of equal parts of glue and water. Using a paintbrush, gently dab the glue mixture over the twine covered balloon. Make sure you saturate the twine well. While the ornaments are still wet, sprinkle glitter over them. This allows the glitter to stick to the ornaments better and harden along with the twine. Hang your ornaments out to dry as such. These will drip, so choose your location wisely. Once your ornaments are dry, deflate and pull out the balloon from the twine orb as such. It took three nights for mine to dry out completely. These orbs are now ready for lights and action. I wanted to show you a few things I did wrong while attempting to work on this project. Hopefully my mistakes will save you some time and unwanted efforts. So here goes. For starters, I do not recommend using thick cord. It's a lot harder to work with. In my first attempt, I tried to dip the twine in the glue mixture while wrapping it around the balloon. This was a disaster. The twine was twirling everywhere, my hands got really messy, I spilled glue all over the place, the twine kept slipping off the balloon repeatedly, and it basically didn't work out too well. The next method I tried was dipping the twine completely in the glue mixture. The problem with this method is that you don't know exactly how much twine you are going to need and end up cutting either too little or too much. The cord was getting too saturated in the glue mixture and it was very difficult to control. Also, the cord kept getting tangled up in the bowl. And lastly, this method was way, way too messy. I didn't trap enough twine around this one and it ended up looking very shabby. It also kind of started to collapse after I popped the balloon. So there you have it, DIY twine orb decorations. I must say, this project was rather long and tedious, but the final outcome is very pretty. I am super happy with the way these turned out. If you decide to try out this project, please do leave your feedback in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Until next time, happy DIYing!